Um, well, uh, I think we, we really did a good job defensively on their key players. Uh, you know, I think uh, Jason and uh, Mike scored a lot, but maybe at the expense of a lot of others. And, um, you know, we, we just stepped up and played really well tonight, uh, very unexpectedly, to be quite honest with you. And uh, I don't really have much more to say except for that I'm, uh, I'm really proud of the guys, the way they responded. And that's much, really much stuff to say. Coach Moss, what's your thoughts on the game, please? First of all, congratulations to Limburg, to uh, to Brian. I think they showed uh, what a lot of people know, that it's a, a very good team. That's also what I said before the game, that they will not be in the last spot at the end of the, of the four rounds, for sure. It's a very good team. Uh, made it to the cup final, had a mental boost there, and I think... Uh, they really showed today that they uh, that they wanted to, the victory, that they wanted to play together. I think that's the main, the main part. And we lost the game. Uh, we lost the game in the first half. Uh, I think it's a mental. Uh, I think we lost the game on the mental part of the game. Um, we never stepped up. I tried to do everything second half, uh, play small ball, uh, switch everything, trap, uh, whatever. And we never got really into the game because you know when you go down to the locker room with 19 points against uh, a team with a lot of offensive weapons that it's uh, that it's tough. So nothing more to say. They deserve the victory for sure. That's a that's a good question. I think uh, he's a key player for us. And but it's not it's not the only one. Huh? Let's let's be honest here. Uh, we have a couple of guys that are not playing at their level. Uh, okay, it's my job to bring them back to the level they can play, and then we can be maybe at the end a contender, but not not this way. Uh. Any more questions? To be quite honest with you, I'm not surprised. I mean, I, you know, this year when we went out recruiting and we put together the team, we put finalized the team, I was really happy and excited about the team. We just had a lot of unexpected things that are out of our control happen. For example, you know, when Jeremy comes here and, you know, after the first two practices has shooting pains down his leg and a lot of pain in his back, uh, and then he's out for all of Europe and, and you know, the first – several games of the season. You know, Hans goes down after the first or second game, third game of the season. Um, we had uh, an issue with a uh, young rookie who we had to get rid of, Eric McClellan, had to change him. Um, when you throw all that in there, it, anybody who knows anything about basketball, you can't get into a rhythm, you can't build chemistry. You, you got this guy coming in, this guy. We At one point, I thought we should put name tags on and practice. Um, that's how bad it got. And uh, so, you know, we took a lot of losses earlier, but I I asked the guys to just keep working and eventually we'll have our full team and, and we'll have time to grow. It's not going to happen early in the season. And uh, they've, you know, we have good character guys. We have a lot of guys that, you know, really good guys and, and, and understand that it takes a team to win. So they stayed with it. And, and now we're starting to find a little bit of stride. and. Uh, you know, the biggest disappointment for me is that while we're, you know, while we're finding our stride, you know, we, we lose one of our key guys, a Belgian player, for the rest of the season. And uh, it's like we're starting over again. And so, again, our character is going to be challenged. And uh, I hope that this win is something that we can, again, start to build off of. And that's my hope. More questions? As a Tuttle, <coughs> Swing, and Smith. Uh, Tuttle, Swing, Mukubu. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you very much. Bye,